Welcome, in front of me is Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5 and in this video I will show you how to uh, how to install uh, Windows 11 using USB on this laptop. So to install, uh, install Windows from USB flash drive uh, you'll have to first uh, create an ISO image of the Windows and I suppose that you don't have the operation uh, OS on this PC so you don't have uh, any Windows installed on this PC uh, because uh, if you do if you do have uh, you can still follow the, the instructions uh, but usually if you want to reinstall Windows from U USB then you either don't have uh, the access to your system or, or uh, maybe you just uh, want to set up a new device for yourself. Now, uh, first of all, grab a USB flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of memory and insert, insert it in, in a different, uh, in, in the other PC. Uh, I'm gonna uh, switch to it in a while. Okay, and once you insert it, Let's open the let's open the web browser. Okay, uh, we have to be connected to the internet on the other PC, of course. And uh, here, uh, input Windows 11 ISO. Okay, and right now, select Download Windows 11. Uh, go right here. Then select Windows 11 uh, multi-edition ISO for x64 devices. Click confirm and wait until your request is validated. Also make sure that you install you are installing Windows from the Microsoft uh, page, which is Microsoft.com, so you don't uh, install any malware. Uh, then select the product language. And click confirm and wait for your request to be validated and then so click right here and wait until your uh, download is finished and in the meantime we can uh, open another tab and search for the Rufus which is the program for creating uh, bootable uh, USB flash drives Okay, so once you are on this page, go down and select this option right here, click on it and download this application and if it doesn't run on your PC, then uh, download this one and then you'll have to wait until your ISO image is downloaded and so in the meantime what we can do is search for the uh, wireless uh, LAN drivers so that you can connect to your uh, Wi-Fi once the Windows is installed. So search for Lenovo drivers. Okay. Let's go to the supportlenovo.com uh, website. Lenovo support web drivers. Select a, pr a product family. In, in our case, oh, in our case, it's going to be PC. And then let's uh, search for the product. So at this point, let me switch to the laptop so that we can check the model of the laptop. Uh, the model of the laptop is located on the back side, uh, back cover of your device. So let me close the lid. And then let me show it to you. Okay, like this. And uh, right here, somewhere right here, I don't know if you can see it, but here is the model name. It's IdeaPad Slim 516ABR8. And that's what interests us in, in this case. Let me bring the laptop to its original position. Okay, now let me return to the, uh, to the other uh, PC. 
and on the other PC uh, let's uh, search for the uh, Lenovo Ideapad Slim 5 16 ABR 8 okay uh, let's only use 16 ABR 8 the model name um, uh, model code model name code basically uh, I don't know uh, and so right here you'll, you'll see the IdeaPad Slim 5 16 ABR 8 which is our laptop so select it uh, on the then select drivers and software then go with manual update and then in the following window select networking wireless LAN and uh, then select select this uh, no so select this one download okay and the file will be downloaded to your PC now uh, as you can see the ISO file is already downloaded so what we have to do now is select our uh, reference program open it and right here in the device you'll have to select your flash drive uh, I cannot currently see it so let me reinsert my uh, flash drive okay so once you can see your uh, USB drive right here uh, click select then select the the Windows that you downloaded the, uh, the ISO file of the win, win, uh, Windows 11 and then you don't have to do anything here uh, basically all you have to do is click start and uh, then click OK you don't need to select any of these uh, uh, checkboxes simply click OK now all the data on your uh, USB flash drive of course will be removed after that so be sure to store your personal files that are located in your USB drive somewhere else and click OK and wait until you see ready right here okay and when the ISO image is created you can close the roughest program and then go to the file explorer select downloads folder find your uh, driver that you downloaded uh, previously and then uh, copy it to your USB flash drive uh, copy and paste it you can paste it right here generally okay and right now uh, you can close the file explorer and basically everything else and eject your uh, flash drive and now let me switch to the laptop so what you have to do now is plug in the charging cable so plug in the charging cable into your laptop and then also insert the USB flash drive in one of the available fl flash drive USB uh, slots okay let me do it real quick Okay, and after that, what you have to do is turn your device on by pressing the power button and then uh, immediately start pressing F12. I'm gonna show both buttons to you right now. So the power button is of course right here and the F12 is right here. Uh, so right now you have to, to do the following so press the F, F power button once then start clicking F12 
and once you see this uh, window select EFI USB device uh, select it with arrow keys or with uh, touchpad then press enter to confirm and then wait for a while until your device boots into the USB drive Okay, and right now what we have to do is uh, select the language. It's the we only have one, I think, and then uh, select the time and currency format. So we can select it later. Uh, then click next. Then select the keyboard on or input method for the setup, and then select install Windows 11, and agree everything will that well, everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. And then click next. Okay, accept, read and accept the user agreement. And in the following window we'll have to uh, we'll have to deal with partitions and disks. So first the thing you have to do is delete each of these uh, in my case four partitions. So basically uh, you can you have to delete each partition before the uh, before the USB flash drive, which you can see right here. So delete the first one. To do this, select select the partition and select delete partition, right here. And we have to erase all of them like this. Now, if you want to create, uh, as you can see uh, right here, we have 476.9 uh, uh, gigabytes of uh, unallocated space, we could, which we can use uh, for creating disks on our on our new Windows. So, for if you want to everything to be stored on uh, one disk, you can just uh, click next, and then the the uh, unallocated space will turn into the system disk, uh, which is the C uh, C disk, and it will be uh, 400, uh, almost 500 gigabytes of total size. But if you want to create a separate disk, then uh, select this unallocated space, select Create Partition, and then uh, give the size in megabytes. Uh, I suggest that you use at least. Uh, uh, for a system disk, you use at least uh, 100 gigabytes of memory, uh, preferable 150 gigabytes uh, of memory. So uh, what we, ha we, we uh, are left with is uh, about uh, I don't know. It's about 380,000 megabytes. Then click apply and the partition will be created. And once the partition is created, uh, you'll have uh, 100, uh, 100 uh, gigabytes of uh, unallocated space. Uh, and so you'll have to select it, then click next. And then uh, this uh, unallocated space will turn into the system disk. Uh, and so this uh, part, uh, 300 thousand uh, megabytes uh, partition uh, will uh, turn into another disk so for example the D disk on your PC uh, I'm not gonna create any other partitions I'm just gonna go with an allocated space I'm gonna store everything on one disk so I select unallocated space then click next okay uh, now click install and wait for a while until your Windows is installed Okay, and right now the Windows is installed and uh, we have to go through the setup process. I'm not going to show you the entire setup process, but the things uh, that are that were mentioned mentioned in this video. Uh, so, first thing we'll have to do is, uh, of course, connect to the network, but uh, we don't have the driver. 
Uh, actually, we do have since we downloaded it before. Uh, uh, but to activate it, we cannot use this install driver uh, button, but because uh, we have the driver in a e uh, exe file, and uh, to to start it, we have to use a different method. So first thing you have to do is uh, press Shift and F10 buttons at the same time. I'm gonna show it to you. press uh, shift and F10 buttons like this uh, and it will open the CMD program on your PC but if it didn't uh, make sure that the light is uh, lit up on your escape escape button and if it isn't use F10 button and escape press them at the same time and uh, open the this way open the C uh, CMD program now uh, to switch to the program use alt tab like this okay and once you're switched to this uh, CMD uh, what you have to do is what you have uh, have to do is uh, uh, excuse me Uh, is input the following command cd and uh, two dots then this one again and then uh, you have to ch switch to your uh, uh, to your flash drive and to do that you have to uh, enter the other disk uh, uh, letter and then uh, colon uh, Columns and uh, slash or the backslash. Okay, so I suppose that it, it's gonna be the next letter in the alphabet, so for me it's D. But if you have two partitions created on your device, uh, it also may be uh, I E. No, excuse me. I just I just make made a mistake. So so what you have to do is uh, enter the uh, disk uh, letter and then uh, only the colon, uh, and then uh, press enter to switch to this uh, disk. Then uh, press uh, input uh, dir like this, and then we'll have to, we'll be able to check what is stored on this device. If you see something like this, that means means that you are uh, that you have opened the uh, that you have opened the USB flash drive memory uh, and uh, what we have to do here is find this driver uh, you will recognize it by the name uh, then to select it and copy it by pressing the right key and then uh, press right here pr press uh, press control V right here to paste the, direct, uh, the name Excuse me, I didn't copy for some reason. Okay, now I realize I actually pasted it right here, but I didn't see it. Uh, so once you paste this uh, file name right here, I just press enter and the drivers will be downloaded. Okay, uh, so now the setup process is, uh, has begun. Uh, we have to select the language to use during the installation. I'm gonna go with English, then uh, read and accept the user agreement, and then uh, select install and click next. Install once again, and then wait until the drivers are, are installed. Click OK, finish, and right now you can connect to the network and com continue the setup process. Uh, if you want to know more about how to complete a setup process, we have uh, a separate window video on our channel. So if you need it, go ahead and check it out. And for this video, that will be all. Thank you for watching it. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like and a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.